building a Winogradsky column. Now, a Winogradsky column is a microbial community of bacteria that was developed by Russian scientist Sergei Winogradsky. Now, there are a lot of source materials that you need in order to build this column, two of which we're going to collect in this environment. The first is one of the most important, which is the source mud. Now, here in this ball of mud, you notice that it is extremely wet. There's also very few rocks in this mud, and I'm also going to be trying to pick out as much of the organic material I can possibly get out of it so that I have more of a squish, snowball-like texture. I'm going to take this mud and fill up the bowl with enough mud to build four Winogradsky columns. Now the other material I need from this environment is the source water. Now this source water is equally important as it also has microbes living within it. Adding this to the mud mixture, which we'll be making up in our lab, is what is, what is going to enable us to build the bacterial communities. So we're going to go ahead and take these two ingredients up to our lab, which is on a lot higher ground, out, out of this swamp, so we can put them together and so they can start growing the bacteria, which is their intended purpose. We finally made it to the Upland lab station. We're going to actually make the Winogradsky column. Now here we have all the supplies we need in order to get them created. The first thing, as I said, the most important ingredient is the mud. Now as you can see, the mud is a milkshake-like consistency. Now this is the consistency we want it in order to make the columns and to grow the bacteria. So I'll put this aside for later. Now what we're going to do, we're going to set up four columns. We're going to have a control, we're going to have one with only carbon, sulfur, and then we're going to have the last column that has the sulfur and the carbon. In each we'll have the mud, and in the carbon and sulfur, we'll have their specific ingredients with the combined ingredients in the final column. And on top of these, we'll put our source water, which also, as I said, has the microbes in it. So the first one, the control. Now the control simply has the mud, and that is all. There's nothing else added to it. The control is made in order to see if any of the things grow in the control glass without adding any of the ingredients. Now the second column is going to be the carbon. Now in order to add carbon, all you need is old paper. Here we have an old ad that we'll just simply rip up into tiny pieces and add to the column. Or you can add already moistened paper, which I have in this cup right here. Either one will work fine, as it's going to get moist either way when we add the mud and the water. Now this is to be mixed with the mud that we're putting in the column. So I've added the carbon source and now I'm adding the mud to the column and I'll simply mix these two ingredients together so that we have the combination to grow the microbes inside. Now the third column is with the sulfur. There's a very easy way to add sulfur to the mud and that's just simply by adding an egg yolk. Now you just simply crack the egg and separate out the yolk and add it to the column. As you can see here I have the yolk, placing it in and placing it in the mud. And again, I'll just simply mix these two ingredients together so that these will grow the microbes that feed off of sulfur. Now fourth, I have the last cup. Now this cup has both the sulfur and the carbon. Now in order to make this one, I'm going to add both the egg yolk and the newspaper. I have just enough mud left to make this last column, so I'm going to go ahead and add these ingredients into the bowl and then mix them up before adding them to the cup. So here I have the egg yolk, I have the carbon source, I just simply have to mix them and then add. Now you can use a spoon to mix them, but if you want to get a good mix, you just simply have to get down and dirty, get it mixed up, then slop it into the cup. So 
Now you see I now have the four Winogrodzki columns with the mud. Now comes the last ingredient. On the top, you want about a quarter inch to half an inch of source water. Now it's gonna add the extra microbes and also help keep the mud moist so it actually grows the microbial bacteria communities. After adding the source water, we then need to put on a top so that the water does not evaporate off the columns. This is simply done by saran wrap and a rubber band. So on each, I'll add the saran wrap. Then after the saran wrap is in place, I'll add the rubber band. Now while I've made these with the glass, you can also make these very simply with an old water bottle. So you could basically just make them out of mud, water, egg, and then recycled materials. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what these will look like when they're finished, because I want you to learn how to make a discovery for yourself, because learning how to make a discovery is the only one to actually make one in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit back, sip my milkshake, and wait for these things to grow. It's gonna take about three to six weeks for the bacteria to actually show up in these so that we can start to record it. So until that time comes, go out, make a discovery, and have an adventure. I'll see you next time.